Hey guys, Dan here. I want to talk to you a little bit about rock fishing. So there's been some changes in the law and some things that guys are overlooking and they're getting tickets on. So I just want to let you know, remind you, you know, I didn't make up the laws. I just want to pass on the message that you need to be careful and check the new laws and new regulations. One of the things they are letting us do now is go down to 100 fathoms, 600 feet. So now you can fish 600 feet still can only use two hooks, but now you can go 600 feet to find those big reds, big salmon groupers. You never know what you're gonna catch down there. If you catch a cow cod, you have to release it. So make sure you have a device so you can drop it back down and release it. You have to have one of those devices to send the advice with you anytime you're rock fishing so you don't get a ticket. Now the other thing that people are overlooking is that the red snapper or the vermilion limit is now only five fish. So only five fish in possession per person. And the other thing people don't understand is in the old days, you could go rock fishing, catch some rockfish, and then keep that on your boat. Then maybe you came up on a cow patty and there was mackerel on it. So you get out your sabiki rig, catch some live mackerel to go use for lean cod fishing or to strip out for rockfish. You can't do that anymore. Once you have one rockfish in your boat, the rules change and everybody on the boat can only fish with one rod and only two hooks maximum. It doesn't matter if it's a sabiki rig for mackerel or 20 hooks trying to catch sand dads. Once you have rock, one rockfish in the boat, you're limited one rod per person and no more than two hooks. So if you want to sit, take a sabiki rig and cut all the other hooks off, say a six hook sabiki rig and cut off four hooks and just have two hooks, you can do that. But if you're thinking you're gonna want some live mackerel for bait, you gotta catch it first. Stop at the breakwater, catch the bait and do that. If you think you're gonna catch sand dabs, go catch the sand dabs first. Go use the 10 hooks or whatever many hooks you wanna use. Go catch the sand dabs, catch as many sand dabs as you want, no limit on them. Get them on the boat, get them on ice, and then go fish for the rockfish. But you can't do what you used to do. You can't go fish the rockfish first Say you're done with rock fishing, you're tired of winding in from you know, 100 feet to 600 feet. Now you just wanna get some sand dabs for a little meal, feed a bunch of your family and friends. But now you can't do that. You know, If you've already caught some rock fish, you can't go sand dab fishing with more than two hooks. So I just wanna let you know. So the new rule is, and this rule has been around for a little bit. Once you have one rock fish on your boat in possession, that you're keeping, you can no longer use more than two hooks. And you can't go rock fishing, and if you're by yourself and put two or three rods down with two hooks, that's not legal. Only one rod per person when you're rock fishing. All right, so I just wanna share that with you. And you know, be nice to the wardens. You know, they're, they're only enforcing the rules. They didn't make these rules, but I just wanna make sure that you guys all understand that, that once you have a rock fish on your boat, everybody's limited to the boat to one rod and reel per person and no more than two hooks. All right, so hopefully that helps. All right, for more information, make sure you follow me right here on my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot, guys, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye, everybody.